there are many ways to approach this. Now I find with blocks can be uh, good for the first time. And then I'm going to show you a harder variation first with blocks and then potentially for some of you a little bit easier variation without blocks maybe. Okay. So what we'll do is move the blocks more to the middle of the mat. Take your down dog, take the right leg up, step the right foot forward and take a long stance. Okay. Now you'll have to move the blocks around with you. The idea here is you'll move your hips back and start to wiggle the right leg internally and externally as you go forward. Okay. And then as you go forward, you're going to want to bring these blocks back a little bit further for stronger support. And then the back leg, so you're going to keep everything bent, the knees bent. So you're not going to overstretch just yet. <laughs> well, ever, hopefully. But once you feel like I have a sensation of about a one right now in my right hamstring. So if you get to about a, you know, out of one out of, let's say, uh, one out of 10. Okay. So when you get to that point, I feel a stretch. Okay. Bend the knee back hip, turn the hips closed. And as you turn the hips closed, you're going to feel that sense stretch sensation go from a one to probably a five. Okay. So the pelvis closes and the back thigh turns in and you see how I have both toes flexed, both ankles, dorsiflex. That's going to increase the stretch of the calf muscles of the front leg, but in the back leg gives you some, um, some control of the back hip. Now press your front heel down, drag it back and press the back knee down and drag it forward. And what you should feel is your hips lift up as a result and the stretch sensations go back from a five to about a one. Okay. And that's where we're at. So again, we're on a scale of one to 10. So the front heel presses down, drags back, pelvis closes, back knee pulls forward. Both knees are bent. Now you can start to experiment. Back knee pulls forward, stick your bum up to the sky, like a little anterior tilt. And then against that, tuck a little with the right sit bone and push forward through the front heel towards not straightening the knee will straighten, but think about, remember how we did that action of micro tucking the sit bone and pushing down and forward through the heel. That's the idea. Don't jam your knee down. It might straighten, but don't jam it down from your right sit bone, reach forward from tucking. Okay. The back knee resists that it presses down and pulls you back up. So you're not going all the way into your flexibility. Wherever you are, obviously some of you will be much higher up if your hands are on chairs than I will. But the idea here is we go back from push and pull. Now bend the right knee again and pull your right heel back towards the back of the mat and pull your left knee as much as you can to the front of the mat. Strengthen these muscles again, get them, get you're coming up out of the pose more. Okay. Getting your body to feel that strength and stability, turn the pelvis closed turn, turn, turn. Now start to turn the pelvis closed and reach through the back heel and start to micro tuck your right sit bone and push down and forward, activating again, not down, not pelvis down into the ground, but your right heel down into the ground and forward through the right heel to activate the hamstrings, tuck your right sit bone. Okay. And then come out of it slowly, pull your knees, pull, 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 pull. And you should be able to come out of it by pulling yourself into that position. Okay. That's whew, exercise number one. All right. Now the next step, not for everybody, I'm going to show you it, but potentially could be easier. Okay. Um, because your weight is going to be not so much on the center of the hips. So if your hamstrings are more open, you'll like this a little bit more. You'll take your right leg forward and you'll keep leaning forward with your hands on the ground of the blocks as you move your leg back. Okay. And if this position is where you start to just check in, you know, like it's also good if you're like in as deep as I am to maybe put your forearms on blocks. Okay. And then move your hips back like you did in pigeon pose while the hips are closed. Okay. And this is a bowing forward. So it's going to be deeper on the hamstrings of the right leg. Now you could work all the same actions. Just don't go to your deepest place first and then work on them. You want to get to a point where you're at like 70% or 60% of your flexibility. And then eventually you can start to stretch 
the right sit bone forward, reach back through the left heel. A lot of you are gonna find that tucking, untucking the back foot is easier. Maybe even pointing through the front foot will make it a lot easier to some degree to get somewhere in there. But as you untuck the back to foot, you're gonna feel your hips will tend to open. So I usually keep the back toes tucked. It makes it a little harder, but easier to access the pelvic movement. And also, I like to try to stretch my calf muscles, which is way more intense, so I flex the front foot, okay? And then you don't wanna stay in deep postures like this too long. 